you know, one of the classes that we want to develop for OnBase is our youth, our youth development. And one of the things I always talk about, and we talk about this in our golf program, is that most programs out there are talent identification programs, right? They're trying to figure out who's the greatest and they try and get rid of everybody else. I, I'm opposed to that. I feel like for young kids, we should be trying to grow the sport, get as many kids playing as possible. And then if we have more kids when they're 13 or 14, we'll have more talent anyway. The problem is, as I always say, it's like imagine if we went to first grade and we said, if you get an A, you get to go to second grade. In second grade, you get an A, you get to go to third grade. By the time we got to 12th grade, there'd be two kids, right? That's what talent identification does, right? So what we should be doing is we should be trying to encourage people to, 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 to look at development instead of trying to look at talent identification. Well, right? the Listen, if you don't know math, right, and you want to learn math, well, you just go to first grade. There's a curriculum, and it'll teach you. But it, what it'll do is it'll say, hey, the first thing we should probably do is we should learn, like, what are numbers? And then we should learn, like, what's addition? And then what's subtraction? You don't come in and they go, all right, let's work on calculus today. Like, there's, there's actually some thought. In a lot of youth academies, they come in and there isn't even any thought involved into the curriculum. So what I always say is like, let's create a developmental curriculum. It's not based on if you get an A, you get to go to second grade. It's just don't get an F and you get to go to minimal proficiencies. We're going to learn these minimal proficiencies and move along. And it's amazing on how your programs grow. Mm -hmm.